with celebrity chef, also <laughs> Top Chef season four winner, Stephanie Eisard. And she is, and you know, and this is my favorite day because there's no fish. You don't see any fish? Anywhere. Well, there's probably one hidden somewhere. I'm just, I gotta find new ways to scare you every Is there day. one really hidden? My producer was telling me that there's something I don't know about. Maybe. And I'm not excited for it. <laughs> Anyways, but it looks like we're doing something with broccoli, which I love. I love broccoli, but it seems like you don't see it a lot at restaurants, except for when you go out for Chinese food and you have beef with broccoli or right. something like that. Yeah. I feel like upscale restaurants think it's just too pedestrian, like, oh no, we can't have broccoli. I love broccoli. Yeah, I think it's, it's freaking delicious. Have you ever grilled broccoli? No, I haven't really grilled much. <laughs> Hence the life. grilling segments for you yes. to learn mm -hmm. lots of stuff. So first what we're gonna do is make a little vinaigrette that we're gonna toss the broccoli in, sort of like a marinade. Okay. Just like we did with the shrimp when we made a marinade, right. we're gonna do it with the broccoli. And this is a really simple vinaigrette that we use it um, on a couple things at the restaurant. You can make something like this and just put it on grilled fish. Or not you, you could put it on grilled chicken. I eat grilled fish, as long as there's no skin. It's all good. Uh, we're gonna put in a little bit of Dijon mustard. Okay. Makes everything taste a bit better. I don't really remember the amount, so we're just gonna kind of make this up today. Then we're gonna put in some rice wine vinegar. Okay. Now why rice wine? Rice wine vinegar is a little bit sweeter. Um, there's rice wine vinegar, you could use white balsamic in this. Mm -hmm. um, you could use sherry vinegar if you have it around. Something um, a little, too, this is just a little, should be soy, yeah, a little bit of soy sauce. Something as dark as an aged balsamic would just sort of overkill, I think, on the okay. broccoli. Um, so you just want something on the lighter side. Hmm. Good and to know. You've got a um, little bit of a... Is that like chili paste Yeah, a little bit of chili paste. Ooh, some spice. spice. So have you been recognized? You must be on the street. I have. It's really strange. I never thought that that would be something that would happen to me in life. I don't know. That's just weird, you know? I well, call myself going like, into to food, it's like... You know, yeah, why I'm would a you chef. Be? Why would I be? Yeah. I call myself like a fake famous person. Like people, <laughs> you know, if you're sitting at dinner and you see Brad Pitt sitting there, like yeah. I'm definitely not comparing myself to him. I'm using him as an example of a real famous person. You wouldn't just go up and be like, hey, what's going on? I know you're enjoying your brunch, but can we, you know, hang out, take a picture? But that's sort of what happens. And it doesn't buy, I mean, I'm fine with it. It's really, it's kind of fun. I get to meet lots of people. But yeah. at first I was a little bit, not intimidated by it, but you think that you should control what you're doing and maybe not act like a drunken idiot all over town all the time. <laughs> um, I think there was an article written about me calling me the notorious party girl. Oh, like, really? You know what? Like, the secret's out of the bag. Like, so I just do what I want. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's still got a little crunch to it, but I kind of, I like it that way. It's just gonna do this. Ooh. Ooh. Yummer, so I'm gonna try it. That's pretty much it. See how easy that was? Just yeah, that took like five minutes. Grill hot, hands hot. Holy cow. Um, and we usually put this underneath of the restaurant, but I just wanted to show blue cheese. You can make delicious blue cheese dressing. Um, this recipe will be up on the website. You just take, cool. we take Rogue River smoky blue cheese, which you can get at Whole Foods, and you melt it into a little bit of cream with some uh, red pepper flakes. Let that chill and you whisk in some sour cream and you've got like kick-ass blue That's cheese dressing. Good. Way better than something in a bottle because yeah. bottled blue cheese dressing, they probably use the cheapest blue cheese that you can find. Where mm. Rogue River is a little bit pricier but it's freaking delicious. Mmm. Mmm, that looks good. A little blue cheese dressing on there. And then it's all about having a bit of crunch as well, nice and balanced. Mm, yeah. so we're gonna put some crispy onions on there. Here we go. Little grilled broccoli, blue cheese, and some crispy onions. I'm gonna eat some. There's just a little, pe yeah, take a little. All it right. might be hot, I would take a little bite. Just a little bit. I want you to burn it and Dude, spit I can't it out. hold on to this fork, it's so hot. The blue cheese usually mm. is not quite so drippy either, but it kind of melted. Oh my gosh, it's really good though. It's good, it's just got like a bit of spice oh, and like a little bit of is... grilled flavor. Oh yeah, I can taste the spice. Yeah, that's awesome. Mouth burning. Yummer. You can stick it in the broccoli stem if it's too hot. I'll just put it right here. Awesome. All right, thank you so much, Stephanie. You're this welcome. Tasty and delicious, I'm going to eat more. All right, if you want this recipe, you can go to chicagomag.com for this recipe and more Stephanie Eiser. So thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to continue eating that as soon as it cools off. <laughs> and I, do I have any? Did I do that whole thing with Stephanie? I was okay. hoping it was going to jump over. That was a good job. <laughs>